we just heard a little bit about Phantom of the Opera, which uh, we did not love, is the consensus. Uh, he did not. <laughs> he did not. He did I, love. I couldn't understand it, so. But it, the music was great. Okay, but couldn't understand like the like the talking, like the accents, like a what? combination of everything. I found it hard to hear them and the language <laughs> they used, and yeah, I was just <laughs> lost. Just lost. Yeah, just completely lost. But just the boys enjoyed it. it. Okay, yeah. all right. Show tonight, Irving Plaza. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. It is very exciting. We haven't played New York in a while. Mm. We haven't played New York this, this year. It was like end of last year. It was the last time we played, and that was crazy. It's always a crazy show in in New York for us. Yeah. Um, it's always a great atmosphere. So we're excited. Yeah. You guys have a, a view on the on New York audiences. Uh, They've always been great for us. Yeah. It's always been like a rowdy crowd, which is what cool. we like. Um, I think the Irish contingency in the crowd helps mm. helps that. So I, can, I think everybody, the Irish and the New York attitudes are quite similar in that they're oh, like, that's true, like yeah. aggressive loud. and loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. loud. So, yeah, it's a good combination. Yeah. Right. yeah. Do you have a a best crowd is that, I would think Ireland now like Ireland is is yeah it is because yeah. it's the biggest crowds we play at and they're so rowdy and yeah. they just they just know every word of right. every song which is crazy yeah you can't be playing to, in your in your home country London can be pretty intense oh yeah and Glasgow, Glasgow London and Glasgow, Glasgow. London and Glasgow have oh, been Glasgow. we've had times in there that's insane yeah yeah since you guys are kind of new to North America this is your first North American like full tour yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's very exciting um so let's start with like a little bit of like background like how did you guys meet how did this happen we formed basically in kind of in 2015 I, mm -hmm. po I posted a song on Facebook just on like my personal Facebook page mm. and Jimmy we're all from the same town Jimmy has his own studio and he saw the song and forced me to come to the studio and record <laughs> it properly and sure. uh, it was the best thing that ever happened yeah. <laughs> um, and then uh, it, we, it just kind of exploded overnight yeah. we posted it online we came up with the name picture this um, just because we had to name the Facebook page like we weren't even a band or yeah. We just had a song, and um, it just really exploded overnight on on Facebook. It's weird because the band kind of broke on Facebook, which you don't hear a lot. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, it just kept going, and then like six months later, we played our first show in Dublin, sold out. First band ever to sell out the Academy on a debut show. And oh shit. We we're just kind of doing all this record breaking stuff instantly. Yeah. And um, yeah, and we all just kind of knew each other. The three lads here grew up together playing in bands. I he comes late to the, to the party. <laughs> We're struggling our whole life. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryan comes in. Yeah. He's a little ditty on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so then picture this, where did that come from? Where, how did you, were those just the first two words you thought of? I mean, It was the first name we thought of. The first name we thought of, yeah. And it came kind of from my brother who was always telling me, oh, I want to start a band called Picture This, and I like the name. And it kind of suited the kind of style we were going for, mm. just because they're anthemic, you know, um, cinematic sounding songs in a way. And yeah. You can picture them in your head, it was kind of a perfect fit. Okay. So, works. Why'd you take out all those letters? Did you ever send a risky say? text message, right? When yeah. you always shorten the words and stuff to make it seem less... <laughs> serious. Serious? Yeah. I feel like everyone does that. Yeah, you do like L-U-V, if like you're not <laughs> yeah, quite yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not real, it's just, right. I spelled it differently. Um, so my favorite song, this I want to ask just personally, you know, um, this is really all about me, um, <laughs> off the album is Broken. And is there a story? What's uh, What happened? There's a story. So, like, are you guys okay? Like, it's very sad. <laughs> I'll tell you a story about that song. Ryan had a voice message, or a voice note of the verse in the chorus, just to mm -hmm. do, he's singing it. And he wasn't into it, he's like, nah don't like it too much and I kept telling them this is a great song Ryan as usual this is a great song and then I put chords and the piano to it and uh, Ryan is like no I don't like it it's too sad <laughs> and I'm, I'm too telling sad. you this is that, it's that kind of song and um, I had to record all the music and then show it to him and convince him that yeah. we should do this song you put that beat in it and then I was like alright yeah we put that like I don't know what kind of beat you call that beat but um, it was funny because we hadn't really done a song like that before it's yeah. quite different sounding mm. and and um, so yeah, we did it, and I, I love that song too. Yeah. yeah, very cool. The song that then I made all of them listen to moments ago, um, Everything or Nothing, and that's doing particularly well, isn't it? Um, what about that? How'd that happen? Yeah, that, that song surprises me with how it connected to people. Mm -hmm. I just didn't expect it to connect that way. I kind of naively thought that I'm the only person to ever have experienced what's talked about in the song, mm. for some reason. But um, we just kind of posted it flippantly. We, we released our first single, One Drink, mm -hmm. and then we kind of kind of flippantly just posted everything or nothing and it just completely connected with everybody that heard it and everybody really kind of got invested in the song. Yeah. But that's a song as well that Jimmy had to fight for to get it on the album. So really? I, we had a different version, an original version, which was kind of acoustic -y and sad and slow and rocky and it just didn't fit the musical landscape of the album. 
but Jimmy was just obsessed with the song, so he completely took it and recreated it and made it sound similar to the rest of the songs. And cool. It turned out to be my favorite song on the album. And, and the whole album is such like a, a, you know, you said modern love, it has such a theme. And like, did you go into it intending to write about this sort of heartbreak, back and forth love thing, or um, did it just happen? It just kind of happened. I just write um, about what's going on in my life, really. Hmm. And it's just kind of a reflection of relationships and friendships. It's a tough breakup, or what are we talking? About? Yeah, there's tough breakups, and was there a tough breakup? Um, not what for that album. <laughs> no, they're, they're actually like, kidding. They're, well, I mean, you could say it. But yeah, no, there actually there actually wasn't like one tough breakup for that album. But um, it's just like uh, everything I experienced, and I just write yeah. about it. And it just so happened that mm, we wrote the song "Modern Love," and then I just said in the studio to to Jimmy one night that would be a great name for an album, and then. Yeah. He said it kind of it actually sums up all the songs that he always says you could name any of those songs modern love and it would suit yeah exactly. um yeah so it just kind of it just all came together quite naturally yeah and what about the rest of the tour what do you guys have left three weeks three weeks yeah. yeah three weeks yeah it's it's actually going quite slow mm. which is which is good i think yeah because you all uh, i suppose by the end of the tour we'd be like oh that went so fast but um it's good the fact that we're actually we're experiencing every city we're actually experiencing every city a lot because we're going to a lot of cities like we've never been before are you guys tired of each other yet is it a lot of time in a van no no we've we've spent the last three years pretty much yeah. in each other's okay. company so we're used to it by now so. we're used to each other yeah we actually hate each other but <laughs> you know, yeah. you're like this camera yeah who's the worst on the road who's like the smelliest <laughs> most unhelpful like be honest um I feel like we all already kind of know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was going to see what they say first. Though. <laughs> Before you threw yourself in Yeah, but I think, thanks. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm the most unhelpful, I would say. <laughs> I, I can, I, I would what does that mean? That. Are you just like napping all the time? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. I, okay. I just sleep all the time. Okay. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you, like, you know, being able to see that in yourself. Yeah, I, I, can, I, I can admit. Yeah. I've um, been on a strange diet lately of like, eating very little carbs and sugar and lots of veg, so I have to say I'm definitely the smelliest. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I will admit it. It's a lot of fiber, that'll do yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's working though. But yeah. yeah, it's working, like what's the goal? <laughs> I don't know, I just feel better. I feel great lately. Okay. But not this morning. Not right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not in this moment, but like oftentimes, yeah. <laughs> very good, yeah. So, yeah. so then, what's next, you guys? What do you, uh, what's We're the plan for the band? Constantly writing new music. We have a lot of new music. I know the album just came out, but I'm sure we will be coming out with new music quite soon. Cool. Um, and shooting some more videos and doing all of that kind of thing. We're, we're just keeping the, keeping the ball rolling, yeah. um, creating all the time. And um, we've got some festivals and stuff over the summer and lots of shows for the rest of the year, UK tour um, and some European dates. So we're going to be on the road a lot and wow. writing and recording on the road. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah.